Peace family, Vicki Dillon here. Thank you so much for tuning in to African Diaspora News channel. Family, be sure to give us a big thumbs up, would you, and share the broadcast. Okay, you all know that so many uh, Black Americans give the Democrats a disproportionate number of our votes. The overwhelming number of Black folks continue to vote for uh, the Democrats, even though we're starting to see some movement away from that because we have been duped and we realize that our vote only empowers them to use it against us and for everybody else. They refuse to do the business of the people that put them in power. So we have to withdraw our vote from them uh, if they're not going to move in the best interest of black folks. And we believe in voting, but uh, we need to make sure that we're getting something for our vote. Somebody talk black to me. Well, family, this uh, reports have been coming out left and right showing so many of the Hispanic Latino community are fleeing to the Republican Party. Now, that's interesting because the Republican Party, they're so openly against so many of those people groups. So it's pretty shocking to some folks. I want you to listen to a little bit of this clip of what this Hispanic poster say uh, gives us some of the reasons why he, he believes that is. Watch this. Has reached a 40 year high, has really crushed uh, budgets, Hispanic budgets across the country. Um, and when you look at the Hispanic family, we're a multi-generational family. Latinos have more children, therefore more mouths to feed. Um, and we have less money to be able to do that. And so as midterms are, are, are coming up, you know, I, I think that Latinos uh, really are starting to see that the Democrat Party hasn't done a good enough job uh, to, to provide economic relief and economic opportunity uh, within the Latino community. So uh, while Democrats might, you know, uh, throw the ball and throw the blame at misinformation, what it really comes down to is they haven't really been able to provide policies that Latinos have been able to feel within their homes. So uh, I think what we're going to see in November is uh, Hispanics not really voting for party like we've seen in the past previous years, but more so voting for policies and candidates that have been able to really articulate the importance of conservative leadership um, and fiscal responsibility that provide uh, economic opportunity for Latinos all across America. Okay, family, he said that Hispanics have more children and more mouths to feed. Not only is that disrespectful when black folks who created and founded and built America demands reparations because we're giving everybody else some form of resource or political protection, but he's sitting there saying that migrants, both we know some legal and illegal, are willing to go to the other side that's been the most hostile to them and believes in tightening their access to the country. What does that tell you? While the other side is sitting there sucking up to them while disrespecting black folks and refusing to do the business of their black constituents. Black family, let this be a lesson. And it is true to some degree that the Republican Party deals a lot more with economics in terms of entrepreneurs. And some of that can kind of get complex for some of us, which if we understood, you know, some of more of the business side of it, we could kind of see why we should be trying to figure out which side we're going to give our vote to based on different types of benefits, advantages, pros and cons from each side. But baby, we're going to wake up and smell the begonias, but I can't wait to hear what you all have to say about this. And that's what the Democrats get for disrespecting black folks and sucking up to other people groups. My name is Vicki Dillard. Be sure to check out my school, my uh, spiritual mastermind school. I'm telling you signs and wonders, miracles all over the place. Join clubvicky.com. The link is below. I can't wait to see you again.